everybody and welcome back to Holly Harvest Farm. So, oh, we are out here again in, you guessed it, the goat pen. Hello goats. Because the goats break things. Out of all the animals that we have, we have big animals, we have the pigs, and we have the goats. And the goats break things. The goats completely destroyed their feeder. I shouldn't say the goats the goat right here mr fergus 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 hey you broke your hay fe your feeder you know that you broke your feeder oh you want me to brush your chin so we've got to fix that also we have a big massive huge addition to the farm and we're going to introduce you to that huge massive oh she's chewing on my arm We're gonna introduce you to that huge addition as well. So let's fix this, this uh, grain feeder, the goat feeder, and then we're gonna go, Eric is actually gonna join me, I think, and we're gonna introduce you to our big addition, big, very big addition to the farm. So, Kevin, your buddy Fergus broke it. We need to go fix it. Let's go. Do stop messing with my camera. And don't eat the screws. Stop. Get. That's not food. Those are screws. Get out of there. So the problem with working in the goat pen is trying to record with the goats in the goat pen. We're almost done. Let's go. All right, so goat feeder is done. Um, I did not make it super, super tight. I don't want it to be strong. I want it to be a little flexible because Fergus has a tendency of headbutting things. And when he headbutts it, I don't want it to snap. So it's strong enough. It is rebuilt enough that we should be perfectly fine. But yeah, now, now, I'm gonna go introduce you to our new friend. He is huge come on let's go all right so it's the next day it poured down last night so i did not get a chance to add to this video goat feeder works well and now erica is going to explain to you our new giant addition to the farm this is teddy because he's a giant teddy bear um he is a draft cross meaning he is some breed maybe quarter horse uh, crossed with a uh, draft breed, possibly Belgian, because he has the chestnut face and this cute wide blaze. Yes, you cute. Um, he is anywhere between 11 to 14 years old. We're not sure, but when I have the dentist come out, he can tell us for sure. Um, and as far as how big he is, he's maybe, I think he, I think he's a little bit taller than Dash was. So I think he's like, 
16, two hands maybe. Okay, so um, can you explain, because we have a lot of okay. younger so, friends who watch this. What does 16, so, two, what is, what so is? A hand is four inches and horses are measured in hands. So if you take 16 times four, okay. Uh -oh. um, yep, get it. What? I was gonna say, get out your calculators. 16 and 15 is 30. Oh gosh. 30 plus more. So he's tall. Okay, but when you measure a horse, <laughs> can you go this way? Yep. You measure them to the top of their withers, which is right here. So this part on him is up pretty high, but then, you know, his back isn't actually up that high. So, um, and then, like I said, the 16 two hands, the two just means two more inches. So, um, he's huge. He's big. he's big. He has a big belly. We have to work on that. Um, he does need his feet done, which is fine because the farrier's coming in a couple weeks. I'm going to get the vet out to check him out, but he's good. He's just a little scary at first because he's big, but it's actually him that's scared. So we have to be confident around him to make him feel comfortable, right? Yeah. His head is seven foot high. Like when he stands up, yeah. he's seven foot high. So we're teaching him to, when I, well, of course his head's low right now, but if his head would be up high, I'm teaching him where if I top, t touch up top here, he would right, put his head down like that. So. We're gonna work on that, right? You go boy. So I just rode, we just walked back and forth in the riding ring one time. I thought I had a bridle that would fit him, but uh, no, even on the last notch, it <laughs> wasn't big enough. And the bit, mm -hmm. yeah, the bit, the metal part that goes in his mouth. I bought one, but it still isn't big enough. So we have to get a bigger one. So, so. so this is Teddy and he's gonna be out. What I'll do is I'll put in some pictures so you can see him compared to the other horses because he is considerably larger. But we're very excited to welcome him to the farm. So, hi. Oh, yeah. and yes, oh. his background. We think he did come from an, I do know that he came from an auction um, and he did his quarantine because they have to make sure that he's okay because they have lots of nasty things happening in auctions as far as sicknesses and horses. Um, but he's fine with that and then they think maybe an Amish workhorse background, and then he is branded on both sides, so they think maybe he was a trail horse out west for a little bit. So, I don't know. You never know, but he'll be happy here, right? <laughs> With his puppy dog eyes. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's, it. that's it for Holly Harvest Farm this week. We're super thrilled to bring Teddy on board Wait. and get a little Just lesson wait. on how we measure horses, but we're gonna send him out to the pasture and yeah. Thanks Don't for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.